Got power. All right, y'all, welcome back. Get a little bit of light for you. Um, just made it to a campsite and the sun is almost down and it's pretty pretty chilly out today uh, I think it's below freezing already and I think below tonight is in like the mid 20s but we found a spot with some electricity so we're plugged in and we're just gonna hang out in the truck this evening I don't plan to start a fire with the wind out there it's kind of blowing in and out but we've had like 30 mile an hour winds today so it hasn't been very comfortable outside shoes off I guess before we get too far into anything we need to uh, pop open this thermometer so it's an indoor outdoor thermometer that one of you guys have sent in uh, I did end up receiving a couple of them in the PO box normally I just have been using this old-school analog thermometer but that doesn't give me an outside temp so we're gonna pop this open and get it working and uh, we'll be able to see what the temperature is outside. Right. I imagine this thing is gonna take a bit of setting up, I don't know. doing something. I'm going to have to read the destructions here. And... Or is it working already? Yeah. I think we're going to just have to give this a second to uh, like catch up to itself because it's not, it's reading uh, warmer on this thing than it is on this thing. But I'm going to set this outside. I think I can like, yeah, just set it up like this kind of have to stay in a different spot than my old one was and then this one I don't exactly know where I'm gonna set it all the time I think I should like put a little hanger or something on the back of my spare tire thing there so I could hang it right there uh, for now I'll probably just set it inside of the spare that way uh, I don't forget it I don't know I'm, gonna, I'm worried that I'm gonna forget this thing if it's not like in my face when I'm 
closing the truck up after I done camping, but for now, I'm just going to set it on my bumper. That way I don't have to get back out. All right. Well, just chilling. Sun's already dropped out there. Dang old newfangled technology, I don't know what I'm doing with it. Boy. I think you guys can see the sunset going on out there. It's it's pretty. And there is a little bit of snow on the ground left around here. I'm going to watch a movie before I do any sort of cooking tonight since, I mean, it is only 6 o'clock, but yeah, it's already getting dark out. Uh, and I did download something on Netflix that looks uh, pretty interesting to me. So, let's see if I can tell you what that is. It looks like a brand new movie. Alright, so the movie is called True Spirit and uh, it's about an Australian teenager plans to become the youngest sailor to have traveled around the world alone. In doing so, the intrepid 16-year-old not only seeks to fulfill her dream, she also faces her greatest fears at the same time. Uh, it came out in January in Australia, um, and it's got Anna Paquin in it. I recognize her, and I don't think I've seen her in anything since probably the movie almost famous but the coolest part is it's based on a true story so this actually happened so uh, sailing around the world at 16 like seems like a pretty wild adventure to me uh, so I think it's gonna be a pretty good movie it's got good reviews I grew up on the Sunshine Coast in Australia, which Australia. means my family and I were never far from the ocean. If we weren't in it, we were on it. We practically lived on our boat home abroad. What am I doing? It was a tight fit. Mum, Dad, and the four of us kids. You better pause this. I need to grab a cerveza out of here, right? Give myself a beer. I picked up something that looks looks pretty interesting to me so this is a Guinness but it's a Guinness blonde I don't think I've ever had this uh, Guinness open gate brewery Baltimore blonde it's brewed in Baltimore Maryland uh, a crisp golden beer citrusy with a refreshing finish we refined our original blonde recipe for brewing at our open gate brewery and barrel house in Baltimore Maryland the first stateside Guinness brewery since the mid 1950s looks pretty tasty it's five percent and they're like kind of a uh, tiny little odd bottle it's 11.2 ounces so it's not even a full 12. Uh, doesn't smell very funky or anything that one doesn't fit nobody likes a loose koozie that one's better Ain't perfect, but it's better. It's a good beer, nothing crazy. Definitely not dark like a regular Guinness. Uh, I could drink like maybe one what of those and I'm we done. Were together. At night, Mum would tell us but stories about a star. I'm gonna enjoy the movie and watch the sunset the out my window that you guys can't see. see right now. And then uh I'll never forget the first time I get some dinner myself. cooking after this movie the is rush over. Of excitement when my sail caught the wind, the magic and the allure of the sea. I'll probably get these lights shut off in here because I forgot to charge my power box. And I don't want the batteries to die on me tonight. So. By the time I was 12, I was obsessed. Yeah. For four years, I studied the ocean, the waves, and learned everything I could about them. watched a couple movies that's ambulance uh, that was actually really good but it's 
go grab our grill so we can get some food going. It's gonna be cold out there. I need my keys. Hold out there, y'all. So the movie that I just watched, Ambulance, was really good, but the first movie was also great. Uh, it kind of like, I don't know, True Spirit, it got me, it kind of got me choked up a little bit in the end there. It was a really good flick. But we got the thermometer going over here. Uh, this thing's kind of neat. If you tap the top of it, it lights up. There you go, which you guys can't see it for whatever reason. Bad resolution there. So 19 degrees outside with 74% humidity and 15, oop. Uh, it's easier for you to see it there. 59 in here with 21% humidity. But we did just have the door hanging open for like five minutes there so that didn't help us it was up to about 67 in here with the heater going I have the heater actually turned on high this window is cracked like two or three inches just to get a little bit of fresh air in here and so is this cab side window but uh, we are gonna do a little bit of grilling in here have not done that in a while I'm gonna have to try to arrange all this junk down here We're gonna turn that to low and get the grill set up. I should probably move these.
probably crack these other windows open a little bit farther maybe try not to die in here so we've got some bacon we're just gonna throw that right on the grill we've got some hot dogs here and a little bit of barbecue sauce what else do we have down here we've got uh, half of an onion so the uh the recipe tonight is supposed to be a gourmet hot dog just a random hot dog that i found uh let me see if i can find what it was called i think it was called like a Memphis dog, maybe? Well, I'm not able to find the exact recipe. So, the recipe that I had, this is what it called for. Got some hot dog buns in here. I've actually got like their, their hoagie buns or whatever. So, do I wrap these with the bacon? Or do I just lay the bacon? I should probably, I think I'm just gonna lay the bacon on here and set the, Set the hot dogs on there also. Try to get this going. Oh, there we go. We are grilling. We're gonna do, I'm only gonna do two dogs, so we'll do four pieces of, well, maybe like five pieces of bacon. I don't know. Whatever we can kind of fit, I guess. Suppose I could have done this in the pan on the burner, but there's the fun in that. I think four is probably going to be the limit, really, to get the hot dogs on there, too. We're going to probably have to give these a little while. Only the middle gets heat. Dangerous. <laughs> Maybe I should have just wrapped them on the dog, but did not flip very well. There is a, a grease tray that goes in the bottom of this thing. So it does have one down there, guys. It's not just dripping straight into the bottom of this thing. A little bit more breeze through here. Well, these are going, I need to chop up a little bit of onion for this. I'm not gonna do a ton. We'll get some out of here. Oh, 
grilling gourmet glizzies, y'all. There we go. There's a title for you. Know about y'all, but I like my bacon kind of crispy. It's like my hash browns. Smoky. See if we can just toast her up just a little bit. I'm gonna set her on there. Get a little, a little bit of the bacon grease on that bun. start a massive grease fire in here. Let's get a little bit of air in here. Whew. Wrong utensil. I burned the I burned the daylights out of the end of that one. Hell yeah. Alright, I think that's about enough. Uh, I might need to get a little bit more onion, but we'll just start with that. Uh, but we're just going to do it. So we'll do a couple of pieces of bacon on each one. Bang. Get the good and crispy one. Slam her down in there. Onions. Yeah, that's probably good. Maybe a little bit more onions. And then for our barbecue sauce, I've had this before and it's really, really good. It's Rufus Teague's Touch of Heat. I figured this would be a good one. Uh, and I don't know about you guys, and I kind of wish I had it, but. I always thought like Memphis style meant that you have coleslaw in your barbecue. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, I honestly think a bit of coleslaw in there would be pretty good. We're gonna we're gonna get that on there pretty pretty liberally, and we're gonna make a mess with it. That's how we do. I guess a couple more onions for a little flare on top so it looks nice for the camera, but there we go. Gourmet glizzies. That's good. Barbecue sauce really tops it off for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Doesn't take much to dress up a hot dog. It's pretty tasty. I gotta say the onions on it are actually a nice touch. 100% satisfied with that. I honestly think, yeah, some coleslaw on top of there would be really good. Or even some like, uh, maybe like a mango salsa or something. Mm. I'm satisfied with that. That was really good. Uh, man, nothing wrong with a hot dog. Good old glizzy. All right. I don't know if I want to leave this in here or not. I really don't want to get back out of here. It's cold out there. 18 degrees, but that's taking up a lot of room.
Yes. Got to snort at the Yetis out there. Make sure you scare them away. Give them a growl. You don't want them to come for your glizzy. Well, should we get another movie going? We got like the flock of seagulls haircut going on, yo. Actually, I think I'm just gonna watch some YouTube. Got a couple of bars out here. I can watch something on the tube tonight. See what we got going. Racer Miata uploaded. We're gonna have to watch that. You know, I woke up at seven o'clock this morning and I told myself, I'm like, I'm gonna climb Mount Mount. But, you know, I heard Matt snoring. I didn't want to really wake him up. So it was just like, you know All right, y'all, I'm gonna sit back and watch some tube like, here. We're doing the daily vlogs. He edited late last night. I gotta night, set so this up that way. I can set my phone on it. 7 a.m., pal. Dude, you're telling me you want it like that. Bam. Dude, I was trying to give you a taste of your own medicine. All you do is your pants. I think they're talking about farts right now. Sun is way up. It's 9 30. Oh, it's warm in here. Oh, yeah. 72 degrees inside. And I've been laying right in the right in the little bit of sunlight that I've got. All right, we better. That old battery died. I'm gonna get myself some coffee made quick. I think I brought my French press with me. In fact, I think it's in the cooler. Oh. Bada bing, bada boom. For you, one for me, and I spilled it all over myself. Point. Three scoops. things I bought uh, that I use on a regular basis and everybody always asks what this is it's from GSI Outdoors GSI Micro Light Java Press I know they make a few different styles just an all-in-one French press that you can drink straight out of 
Now I have to dirty up multiple dishes. Boom, there we go. We've got coffee. We got our coffee ready, y'all. Oh, I'm gonna get my self changed. Get headed on out. One of the few spots that I've been to where the power pole is on the passenger side of the vehicle when you back in. Most of our, all of our sites here in Nebraska are back in. If not, then they're like it's a pull through site, but you still typically have the pole on this side sitting right here. I had my such a cord was long enough. Hey, all my spare tire thing, the swing out, has this little red, uh, I don't even know what you call it, it's like a, a locking pin that slides down through here and keeps the gate closed. And there was a retainer cable on here and that finally broke. So I had to uh, stick the lock in there because as you drive around, this thing will loosen up and start to come out. And I don't want to lose that on the road somewhere. But things happen. Well, all right, y'all, another successful adventure in the book and some gourmet glizzies in the truck last night. That's like perfect, perfect title. Uh, and uh, the thermometer was cool. It's nice to see, like, be able to see what the temperature is inside versus outside without having to try to look up on your phone. And then you never really know how accurate that actually is because uh, who knows where those temperatures are being taken from compared to where you are, you know. Uh, and the humidity is cool. I thought it was way off, but I did look it up and it seemed pretty accurate. Uh, for what current temps were. Wow, it's bumpy right there. Current temps and humidity level, so it was pretty accurate. But I am uh, getting back on the road over yonder here and uh, headed on to the next spot. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next adventure, guys. I'll see you in a bit.